What's going on guys? So I am out here at Bishop RV Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. Check this thing out. This is a custom order DRV mobile suite. Beautiful full body paint. One that you typically don't see on DRVs. You generally tend to see the lighter tones. It's really cool and it's really bold. But what we're here to talk about today is this bad boy. So you may not remember, but about, I guess it's been almost a year now, maybe about nine months, I visited the Coachman facility and helped design this floor plan. This is their new mid-bunk Brookstone. If you don't know what the Brookstone is, the Brookstone is Coachman's premium fifth wheel line, but still at an affordable price. The difference really is, is the width. This is gonna be a wide body footprint. So this is a 101 inch wide footprint. This also rides on a drop frame. You can see the 10 inch I-beam drop frame right there. It gives you a huge amount of storage for the basement area, which is something that you don't get quite as much of on the Chaparral, even though the Chaparral gives you probably class leading in terms of basement storage for that size, what's called a mid-profile fifth wheel. But we did a lot with this unit. Before we get into that though, I wanna talk about something. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so if you missed out the videos that I did where I toured all of those Coachman Chaparral fifth wheels, one thing you want to very, very much keep in mind, if you are looking for that incredible turning angle that you get with the Chaparral, this being a 2020 Chaparral, you still get it with the 2020 models that are on the lot for the most part. So this is a 2020 Chaparral. You can see how this area right here is notched back. It's actually notched back into the frame. It goes back roughly 20 inches further than most other fifth wheels, which means you can turn your tow vehicle pretty tight compared to other fifth wheels. But let me show you what's changed for 2020 and a half. So over here is the new front cap that they're putting on the 2020 and a half models. And it sticks out. It's still an aggressive front cap, so you'll still be able to turn relatively tight, but it sticks out a good 20 inches further than the previous generation. So if you enjoyed the videos I did on my Chaparral and you really like that super aggressive front cap that gives you the ability to turn sharper, you still get it on the earlier 2020 models, whereas the newer ones that are coming onto the lot now have a different front cap. The interior is pretty much identical. You might ask, why did they do that? Well, they did that because Coachman wanted to provide you more room for a washer and dryer up front. And that's one of the reasons why they changed the nose cap design like this. So if you plan on putting a washer and dryer in your unit, then this might be the route you want to go. If you don't care about having a washer and dryer in your unit, this might be the route to go and get these before they're gone because this is going to give you a much more aggressive turning angle with your truck, especially if it's a shorter wheelbase truck. So just wanted to share that with you real quick. All right, so back on topic. This is the new Coachman Brookstone 398 MBL, which is mid bunk loft. This thing is approximately 41 and a half feet long, almost 42 feet long. This is a beast. It has almost a full profile roof to it, which is kind of cool. Basically what that means is the top of it is almost flat. Instead of giving it a traditional full profile where it's completely flat or sloping it back like you might see on the Chaparral right here, they kind of made it radius up slightly and arch down. So it has kind of a rounded look to the top of it. The only other manufacturer I've seen do that is the Jayco with the North Point model. But let's take a closer look at this. You can see frameless windows, dual awnings, as well as a slide top awning. Check out these awnings. So this awning right here is probably an 18 foot awning. Plus you have one over the slide that's on the slide. When you extend these out, you pretty much cover the entire side of the fifth wheel coming around. It does have the ground control electronic leveling system. It's a six point auto leveling system. Coming over here, let's take a look at the numbers. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 15,500 pounds, has a 2,237 pound cargo capacity, and it rides on 7,000 pound axles. 14,000 pound total axle capacity. You're gonna have about 3,000 pounds resting over the back of your truck, which makes these axles more than appropriate. I do like the fact that it includes the standard LCI pin box, which gives you the ability to swap this out with a goose box, with whichever pin box you prefer without feeling like you spent a tremendous amount of money on a pin box you're just gonna remove. You can get it pre-equipped with the Cummins Onan generator as well, which is also really nice. Plus it has 40 pound propane tanks on each side. 
Something else I really like as we open this up is that you get a much thicker baggage door on this unit. So you can see that the baggage door is much thicker than the traditional baggage door on many RVs. This one just came in and it hasn't gone through inspection yet, which means they're gonna vacuum all this stuff out. This is what happens when it goes down the road, but check this out. Look at the framework that they did here for the bath deck. Three inch aluminum framing. That is huge. A lot of people use inch and a half or two inch three inch aluminum tubing. You can see how it's welded on both sides. You have the radiant barrier underneath as well. Plus you have a cable TV connection here with power so you can hang a TV on the outside right here and watch TV outside. Of course, all slam latches. Up here is gonna be your outside kitchen area. Again, the real thick baggage doors and slam latches. You have a small little sink right here. If you've gone fishing, you need to wash your hands. It's a nice little space. Plus you have a micro refrigerator right here to keep your drinks in. Again, dual slam latches here instead of the little twisty things. Coming around, check that out. Road Armor Suspension. So not only do you have a Road Armor Trail Air LCI suspension, you also have the heavy duty thicker shackle straps, half inch thick shackle straps with the greasable wet bolts. That is really nice. And you can see your auto leveling system back here. No cable driven slides on this unit, all rack and pinion. As we come around, I already pointed out the frameless windows and the two awnings, as well as the slide top awnings. There are gonna be a few more standard upgrades to these units coming soon, but for the most part, this is gonna have almost all the upgrades that we spoke about. LED rear lighting, LED lighting up there, wired for a Furion wireless backup camera, and the ability for you to walk on the roof, of course. Again, something I absolutely love is the fact that they use a 10-inch I-beam frame under here, connected to a 12-inch main beam section. Very nice, very robust. Stepping up the LCI solid step. Also a big difference is they now have friction hinge doors. So you don't have to worry about the wind catching the door and swinging it all around. Taking a quick look in the living room area, check it out. This is what we came up with. We moved the sink to the end of the island. So you had a lot of room here, more countertop space here and added a coffee station at the end. Plus you have these three cabinets here, which are your pantry area. You have a full size residential microwave nice oven and cooktop, plus a full residential French door refrigerator and a 50 inch TV and the wide view fireplace beneath it. This folds out into roughly a king size bed. I love the dark tones, some people don't, but I'm kind of a fan of them. You can see the valances with the day night roller shades, more cabinet storage up top here. Plus you have your theater seating here and you have all your electric controls right there for them. Up top, you have a fully ducted Coleman mock air conditioning system. And the second unit in the master bedroom is also a Coleman ducted system. So it's ducted all the way through. Coming back here, you can see this really nice hutch area. So that's really cool. Coming back, really nice office space inside of the mid bunk. That was a big thing for me. Let people have a space in case they have kids that are in school or they're using this as an office that they can actually get some work done. So we put that here, all your cable connections, place for your TV, flip up bunk above the sleeper sofa that's beneath it or a love seat. Folds out into a good full size bed, which is really nice. Plus more cabinetry, drawers, drawers, cabinetry, more above. You can see how the hutch was designed to kind of go around here. Here's all your controls for your lighting systems, your controls for your HVAC system and extra power. Something that's really nice, a lot of RVs don't do, is put a coat closet here. So you can hang up your coat whenever you come inside. Going up, you can see you have roughly a queen size loft above the mid bunk. Plus, hook your TV up, all your connections, nice ladder right here to get up to it. You have a touchscreen control for your slides, tank levels, all that. Plus you have a manual control system right here. More light switches. You can turn on your tank heaters as well. This is a four season rated RV. Has a good size bathroom and shower stall. It is a two piece shower assembly. One of the reasons they said they went with this, well, two of them. One, it reduced costs slightly. But number two, if you ever have to service this, if it gets cracked, you can remove it through this area as opposed to having to cut a hole in the wall to remove a one-piece shower stall. So that's actually a pretty good reason. Plus you have room for all your toiletries. You have some shelving there. 
towel holder, and a good amount of space next to your sink. Coming into the master bedroom, you'll notice that the linoleum flooring goes all the way through, so no more carpet up here, which is really nice. You have a king-size bed. You're going to have about 12 inches of space on this side, and on the other side, you're going to have about 14 inches of space. Really nice size closet in here as well, with nice sliding mirrored doors, and a place for a washer and dryer. You remove this shelf right here. You can put a stackable unit up, all your connections, Everything's really easy to get to. If you don't use it for that, it's great extra storage. I like how they put the window above the headboard. Again, has day-night roller shades that block that if you don't want light coming in. Your second air conditioning system. Place for your TV over here. And a nice dresser right here at the end of the bed. Overall, it's a really nice space. And that wide body design gives you a lot of extra room here between the end of the bed and the dresser. You have about two and a half feet of space here versus about two feet of space on the outgoing model. Overall, though, I was very pleased with this collaboration. Apparently, these have been very popular. So thank you guys if you went and looked at them because you saw the channel. If you haven't, check out the Coachman Brookstone 398 MBL because that is the one I collaborated with Coachman on and helped them design. And you are looking at what the result of that collaboration was. And one thing I forgot to mention is that the new Brookstone mid bunk has an optional disc brake upgrade. So if you wanna get it with disc brakes, and I believe they're even offering it on other Brookstone lineups as well. So that's a huge differentiator between other similarly priced units from other manufacturers. Disc brakes on a unit that's under $80,000, very rare. So this unit has an MSRP of 78,576. They're selling it for $60,900. It's definitely what I would consider to be one of the most aggressively priced units for this size with this type of layout and the amenities that are included. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again very soon.